Monticello and Clearwater. I think they call this Clearwater, sort of between the two. Clearwater, Minnesota. The Speedway, Olson's truck stop. Same place we went to bed last night. Checking the tires. This is the one that had the flat, and that's also the one that's wearing down faster than all the rest now. Look at the thread, tread on this. Look at the tread on that. Look at the tread on this. And this. Look at the tread on this. You know the difference? That tire's wearing down faster than all the rest. One of the eight is not like the rest. Strange. Got an empty step deck. What about the running track beam? Put something on it. It's gonna be a good day. I know my rear axle usually wears down faster than the front axle. I have my fifth wheel as far forward as I can, leaving enough space for the trailer to turn when I make corners, right? But fifth wheel is more over the front axle than the back. So when I have weight on my truck, it plants this axle onto the ground. And when I make corners, this axle kicks out and slides more around the corners, making these tires wear faster. So I gotta rotate them every now and then, just make sure they all wear evenly. Except for that one over there. I don't know what's up with that one. They were the cheap ones. I went with the cheap ones, remember? So far, I don't regret my purchase. Even if they wear down twice as fast as the regular BF Goodrich or Michelin's, I still got my money's worth out of them. They're uh, Blackhawks. I think they're of the family from the Hankook tire, Chinese tires. I know. But hey, I'm trying to make money here. I got a family to support. It was $4,000 cheaper, just under. $4,000 cheaper to buy these tires than the, the Michelin's that I was looking at. It's insane, right? But they're doing good, they're doing good. They're definitely different when you're breaking them in. Breaking them in takes a lot longer on these ones. And uh, the truck's a little bit, I wouldn't say unstable, but a little bit wishy-washy. Get a little bit of, uh, you feel like you're floating around a little bit for the first 20,000 kilometers or like 15,000 miles. But after that, they break in. Now it's perfectly fine, everything's stabilized and even though, aside from the one that's wearing faster than the rest, I mean, they're doing pretty good. Time to get new steers soon. Those I'll probably stick with Michelin. But we'll see. I make no promises. We'll see. We'll see who speaks louder to me, the brand name or my wallet. Another fun fact about today, and yesterday I guess it would be, uh, I took all my, my pants, all my jeans home to wash. Like I always do on the weekend. I had them all nice and folded up. I brought them to the shop and put into Old Blue yesterday. I put them down beside the truck. I put my towels on the floor. I started the truck and I left. So I have two pairs, uh, one pair of jeans left. <coughs> two with the one I am wearing now. So on my way back to Winnipeg tonight, after I get this load, we're going back to Winnipeg, we're gonna have to swing by my shop and pick up my pants. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's fun being me. Let's go. Trailer's coming with me, the brakes work, and they release. Do you guys do that every morning, too? Turn right and then turn left into 140 meters. Every morning I make sure that my trailer's coming with me. 200 meters, turn left on CR8 and then take the entrance to the right in 70 meters. You can go underneath there, make sure that the fifth wheel is locked on. And then I'd always, I always suggest people do a, a tug test too. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life though. I'll just show you how I do, do things myself. And if you think it's a good idea, maybe you can do it too. If not, well, I'm not telling you what to do. I just like to make sure my trailer is not going to fall off. That'd be embarrassing. How do I explain that one to you guys? <laughs> so that looks like a freeway entrance, but they put a cone and a sign there specifically to tell us that that's not the a freeway entrance. entrance. To the right. Freeway entrance is over here. 
94 eastbound. We've got to get through Minneapolis and it's shack peak. We don't have too much time to spare, so we won't be dawdling.
my fuel card says that this is where I can get the cheapest juice today on my route home. So here I am. this way. I don't fuel here very often. This is one of my favorite truck stops. They got you have six hours and 51 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you. Turn her off. Full of fuel. Yeah, this place has everything you could want in a truck stop. And a shop back here yet as well. Canada needs more places like this. But maybe one day. I should be more specific. Canada needs more places like this on the prairies. Eastern Canada gets all the good ones. They get everything. No, Karen, I gotta go straight. That little Saturn just motoring. He's in a rush to get nowhere. city driver to do it for me in the morning. I've got to grab an empty step deck. I just dropped this trailer in our yard. Grab another step deck that's empty with a riser. And then take that empty to uh, Morris, Manitoba, where I have a load waiting for me to get loaded tomorrow morning. And that's going to take us to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And after Eau Claire, we get unloaded there. We go down to Mauston, Wisconsin, and then come back. Right now, that's the plan. We'll see if the plan changes or not, but I am going back to the yard to grab a different trailer. So I don't got to worry about uh, hanging around for tomorrow morning to get these unloaded. That's kind of nice. It keeps me going, right? Keeps me going. So we should be in Eau Claire tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll be in Eau Claire tomorrow night. It's just on the other side of Minneapolis into Wisconsin a little bit. Uh, I think that's what around Menom Menominee, right? It's not too far into Wisconsin. We'll sleep nearby there. And we'll be able to unload, get down to Mauston. Yeah. 
the next day reload I won't get back home that day I oh, will worry about it as as we as time progresses let's just worry about today today I need to get this trailer to our yard and get back to Morris and get to bed so we can get ready for tomorrow big day tomorrow every day is a big day lots to do that's trucking people need their stuff all right so I dropped off that trailer just back over there see there's the little blue ribbons on the front blue ribbon blue saran wrap ribbons saran wrap <laughs> this is my new trailer got my tarps on here already I need one riser that's not the one that one's too big for this trailer this, this is how I found this trailer it had two risers just left on it by someone when you're done with risers and you park a trailer you're supposed to put the risers in the riser pile over here but I'm happy to do the work for whoever left the trailer like this. Why not? This one's too big for this trailer anyways. Like, yeah, it's way too high. See that? So I don't want that one. This one's for our boat trailers. Uh, they have a little bit of a lower, lower deck. We call them boat trailers because we used to haul boats on them. Long, 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 long time ago. And they got a little bit more of a drop. So they got these higher risers, right? These are the ones that we use for this. And got this tied down here. What that does is I stand it up just like this one here. And then it sort of turns this trailer into somewhat of a flat deck, right? I can have a solid piece that's resting up on the step. And then it rests on that. And I can move that anywhere down the trailer that I need to. You can have longer stuff on the front. I need that one for my load tomorrow. I'm not too sure what I'm loading yet, but uh, it's going to need that. I don't need this one, however. I'll put it back on the pile where it's supposed to be. Should have been on the pile already. <laughs> I already mentioned that, didn't I? It's still on the. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the pile. Why not? Why not? My e-log clock is ticking away, but that's okay. Oh, my way. For a second there, I thought it was stuck. I charge $500 an hour, just so you know. Just kidding, I don't mind. I'm actually doing okay for time. It's a beautiful evening outside. I think I got about three hours left on my clock and I got like, oh, probably about another hours worth of driving, maybe a bit more. Because remember, I'm the genius that left all of his jeans in his shop so i got no more pants these are my last clean pair of pants we gotta quickly run to my shop grab my clothes and then we'll run over to morris it's, it's all kind of close together it's a little bit out of the way but it's my fuel right i gotta pay the price that's why i went now because i'm pulling an empty trailer i was thinking of swinging past the shop when i had a loaded trailer and just quickly grabbing it on the way here. I figure, wait, 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 wait. Better to pull an empty trailer, extra distance, unnecessary distance, than a loaded trailer. Less fuel. <laughs> Gotta save those nickels. And once again, this light is working just fine. Make up your mind, man. Okay. Let's go fix our mistake. 
we'll get back to work. So like I was saying before, from here, uh, got that pickup in Morris tomorrow. That's why I need that riser. I'm not too sure what I'm picking up, but obviously it's going to be something long that we need to... You'll see in the morning. Make sure you subscribe and tune in so you don't miss it. Okay, Subscribe down below. We make videos all the time. I like to say every day, but let's be honest. Most days. Most days. So we got to pick up that load. Take that down to Eau Claire. We'll get down to Eau Claire tomorrow night. And then we'll unload probably first thing the next morning. And then we run over to Mauston, Wisconsin, which is down at the southern edge of the state, or southern part. Grab a load of trailers, I think. Some kind of utility trailers, probably. Something like the ones you saw over here. Maybe. I'm not too sure. I don't think I've ever picked up there in Mauston. We'll find out when we get there. And then we bring those trailers back here. And that'll probably fill up a lot of my week. I may have one more this week yet. And then I go home to start packing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to be done with this whole moving process. We haven't even started packing yet. Oh, that's a lie. We have started packing. Britt's stepmom came down and her mom came down the next weekend as well. They were all sort of helping pack already, helping us get ready. But the majority of the packing still needs to get done. A lot of it we need to get ready. But like I said, we hired movers. So I don't care what you say about that. I mean, at least at the end of the day, I'm not going to be beat and tired. I'll be able to take all our stuff and use my energy to settle into the house. Right? And give you guys a nice quality tour. Just a couple of weeks. A few weeks. A couple few weeks. Uh, several more trips yet and then we'll we'll be there. But we packing this weekend. Packing next weekend. And then moving day comes. The last moving day of my life, I hope. That's the plan. This is our forever home. This is where we want our kids to grow up. Okay, let's go get our pants. Well, let's, let's go get my pants. They're not yours. Let's, all of us, go get my pants. Fixing my mistakes. What are you doing? What are you doing right here? You're supposed to be in the truck. Oops. Well, I guess now that you know the big news that we we're moving, the big news in the shop is all of this stuff is more stuff that we brought in here that's going to the house. And all of this stuff back here. And maybe not all of it, but most of it, pretty much all of it. I want all of it gone. All of it's gonna go to the house. Not those tires though, that can stay in here. <laughs> the desk, everything, the stand up freezer back there. All these boxes and bins. So I'm gonna be cleared out. I'm gonna have my shop back. Oh, I'm excited about that. I made it to Morris and it's time to go to bed. We gotta be up early in the morning, as early as we can. And head on down the road, grab whatever it is we have to grab. I have no idea what it's gonna be yet. All I know is I need that riser. That's the only thing they told me. So I'm gonna show up there with my riser. And we'll see what they got for me. We'll tie it down, we'll secure it, and we'll bring it to Wisconsin. Someone in Wisconsin needs something that we got in Manitoba. So I'm gonna bring it there for them. I'll see you then. So remember, be safe, stay safe, think safe. And when you're on the highway, drive safe. I really appreciate that. See you tomorrow. Good night.